Ask away. Whatever you want to know. It's bossa. Get it. Get in there. Go ahead. Get in there. So what do you do when your wife is going at your uh, girlfriend? What do I do when my wife is going to my yeah, girlfriend? I handle it by not paying it really that much attention. You know, at the end of the day, it's the mother of my kids. Uh, I love her as that. I wish her nothing but the best. I'm always going to wish her nothing but the best. It's it's nothing to really entertain on our side. I'm happy. I'm in a great relationship. Me and my girlfriend are in a great place. I have nothing else to really do or say. If whatever you feel you need to do, I guess is what you're going to do. We're all adults. I guess we handle ourselves differently, but once again, it's the mother of my kids. I only want to see her happy. So when you're on set with so many other funny people, Gary Owens, mm -hmm. et cetera, what, how do you, do you try to one-up each other? No, no. You don't try to out-funny anybody. You have to understand the funny comes in levels. So I think the best thing about being in a movie like this, you, you get in where you fit in, but it's for the better of the project. You want the movie to be good. So the best way to get the movie to be good is to understand your position, play it well, and uh, ultimately, in the end, you're going to shine because we're not a selfish group. There's no egos involved. We want the best for the movie. Now, have you spoken to Mike M since you guys had your Twitter? Yeah, me and Mike talked. Uh, we squashed all of that stuff. You know, I mean, we're both grown men. And like I said, when you're an adult, you handle things accordingly. So we talked. We both uh, gave our opinions. And after giving them, we had a different respect for each other. We walked away from it and said, okay, I mean, it's Mike Epps. That's my guy. He has been for some time. I am not. I don't have any ill will towards him, and I would never wish him any. So, you know, we. I'm glad that we did talk after what happened. Now, where were you heard about Tracy Morgan's I was actually on this press tour. Um, saddening, of course, he's a good friend of mine. I only want the best for Tracy. Um, at this point, you know, physically, you're helpless. You can't do anything. So all you can do is just send your prayers out to him and his family and hope that he gets back to doing what he loves to do, which is entertaining people and making them laugh. So pray for Trey, definitely. I mean, it's life, you know. It's nothing that you can do about it. You know, that's something that was so unfortunate. It's not that it was planned. It's not like he knew it was coming. It was a freak accident, and he just so happened to be the victim. So uh, appreciate life. Definitely don't take it for granted. Uh, plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, order the pent out party bus with a stripper pole in. Do we look like a group of guys who's gonna roll to a spot or something like this? <laughs> As a matter of fact, you do.